tomb, the truth will be revealed. Everything they have concealed will come out in the night. We'll dance in the light, but will we know wrong from right? Landon didn't want a stepmommy. He was jealous of the time that I spent with Irving. Honestly, I'm surprised he didn't try to kill me. Interesting theory. From what I understand, Irving cuts you completely out of the will. And that his sole beneficiary was going to be Kinky. I, I wouldn't know. I mean, he said he disinherited me. But he said that before. I mean, my bank account was still plenty full, even after he kicked me out of the house. I had no reason to kill him. Maybe Kiki knew she was going to be the sole beneficiary. That's a strong enough motive to kill somebody, isn't it? Of course it is. Kinky had just as much motive to kill Irving as you did. I loved my little Irvy. I would never kill him. Unlike Landon. Maybe the two of you were in on this together. <sighs> this is ridiculous. Once you knew Irving's intentions, we thought you'd team up and maybe getting rid of him was your best option. I'm not some kind of cold-blooded killer. I've been looking all over for you. There's something I gotta tell no, you. No, no, I would do anything, anything for you. That lousy father of yours, he, he, he wouldn't lift a finger to help you, but I was only thinking of you. It's okay, it's okay. I can't believe Gabe left you at the altar. Yeah, he's a douchebag. Such a douchebag. Thanks for being here. I don't know what I would have done without you. Here. Lance, what are you doing? Mrs. Haven, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be at the Reed Estate. You know, I think I underestimated that tiny little brain of yours. Somehow you've managed to conjure me up to reprimand you for letting that little gold digger back in. Don't you remember what happened last time? But she's back now. I really don't like to resort to violence, but you are pushing me. Don't you think um, we should give her another chance? Lance, are you scared of me? Um, the correct answer is yes. Yes. And am I real? No. Ah. So if you're scared of me when I'm not real, just imagine what it's going to be like when I am really here. I want you to get rid of that gold digger, and I want you to do it now. I guess my vision of Mrs. Haven is right. I need to send Lisa packing. None of your business. Hey, 
Hey, what's wrong? I'm just tired of everything systematically blowing up in my face. Buddy, come on. <laughs> there you go. I thought you could use that. Okay, this is uh, this is complicated. I, that's just an excuse. <laughs> uh, this is uh, I can't, I can't, I can't, I uh. This is too much, I'm sorry. Lucy! 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 Jake! Look, I know this is a lot to take in, but I promise you, I only want the best for you. You gonna take back all my time as a teenage prostitute? I can't take back something that's already happened, Jake, but things can change for the better in a moment. You have to believe me, I'll never leave you behind again. And I'll pay for therapy. Colleen? Lucy! <sighs> I just had the most amazing, mind-blowing sex. Oh, get out. With who? With Evan. Oh, sorry. I thought you just said Evan. <laughs> yes. <laughs> really? Really. Okay. One, All right. Tell me. What okay. happened? One moment, he's breaking up a fight between Rodney and me. And the next thing you know, we're tearing each other's clothes off. Evan. Yes. <laughs> That's great. That's great. <laughs> so what? Do you have feelings for him or something? I don't know. Maybe. Either way, I'm going to have to tell him about Alex. Yeah. Or Kane will. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Looks like you're not the only one getting with the Havens. Wait, what? Hmm? Which one? Which ones? There's more than one. I'm sorry. I'm just kind of trapped between my feelings for Catherine and my lust for Kane. <sighs> Seriously? The two people in the world who hate me the most? It wasn't on purpose, OK? I barely kissed Kane, OK? I pushed him away as soon as it happened. Well, that was a good instinct. Let's stick with that. Yeah, it's different with Catherine, though. It's like when I'm with Catherine, the feeling I have, it's just, it just builds, right? There's a, a connection that I haven't felt before. I may vomit. I'll get you a bucket. Thank you. Oh. I know you've had a lot of broken promises in your life, Jake, but this time it's going to be different. And you don't have to believe me now, but I'm going to show you. Ah! Oh my god, there's my baby girl! She's in labor! Ah. Ah. You know what's still bothering me? What's that? You're a tacky ex-wife. Forget about Sandra. Mm -mm, mm -mm. No, because I think this is really strange, you know? Being estranged from you or not. Sandra is more mixed up in all of this than anybody else. She has more skeletons in her closet than your whole family put together. And Irving has had a front row seat at almost all of those. So why, when he calls everybody to be together, does she not show up? Why, why doesn't she at least call or, or something? It's very peculiar, Cubby. Oh, who cares? I mean, nobody's heard from Sandra in months. And stay that way. Mm -mm. Cockroaches like her keep popping up. You can't let that silence of hers fool you. God damn it. Why, why, why did Bailey keep me from having my cameras in here? I mean, this is the perfect, perfect thing for TGH. I like the way you think. Of course you do. Where did you get this? None of your goddamn business. What are you doing going through my stuff? Why did Irving Reed run a paternity test on you? Ah! Lucy! Oh my god, are you okay? What are you doing? Get your hands off my daughter! Okay, mommy is helping. Oh my god. Get away from her! <laughs> Wesley? 